Hello and welcome to the session. Let us understand the following question. Which says, in a magic square, each row, column and diagonal have the same sum. Check which of the following is a magic square. We have two squares. First, with the integers 5, minus 1, minus 4, minus 5, minus 2, 7, 0, 3, minus 3. And second square with integers 1, minus 10, 0, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 6, 4 and minus 7. Let's proceed on to the solution. First we will consider the first square. Let us name the rows and column. So this is C1, C2 and C3. And this will be R1, R2 and R3. Now we have defined the columns and the rows. So we can write sum of R1 is equal to now adding up all the integers in row R1 we will find it is equal to 5 plus minus 1 plus minus 4 which is equal to 5 when plus is multiplied by minus, we get minus 1, again minus 4, which is equal to minus 1 minus 4 will be equal to, here we will be adding the absolute values of minus 1 and minus 4 and assigning the sign of minus. So we will get 5 minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0. Similarly, sum of R2, again adding up all the integers in row R2, we get minus 5 plus minus 2 plus 7 which is equal to minus 5 minus 2 plus 7 which is equal to, again minus 5 minus 2 will be equal to adding up the mod absolute values of minus 5 and minus 2 and assigning the minus sign to it. So we get minus 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 plus 7, which is equal to 0. Now, Sum of R3 which is equal to adding up all the integers in row R3 we get 0 plus 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0. Now finding the sum of the columns. So sum of C1 which is equal to now here adding up all the integers in column C1 so we get 5 minus 5 plus 0 which is equal to 0. Now sum of C2 which is equal to adding up all the integers in column C2 we get minus 1 plus minus 2 plus 3 which is equal to minus 1, minus 2, plus 3. Minus 1, minus 2 will be equal to minus 3, plus 3, which is equal to 0. Now similarly finding the sum of column 3, which is equal to minus 4, plus 7, plus minus 3 which is equal to minus 4 plus 7 minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 is equal to minus 7 plus 7 which is equal to 0 now finding the sum of 
पर्स डायगनल विच इज इक्वल टू नाउ एडिंग अप ऑल द इंटीजर्स इन दिस डायगनल वी गेट फाइव प्लस माइनस टू प्लस माइनस थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस टू माइनस थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस टू माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ फाइंडिंग दी सम ऑफ अदर डायग्नल दैट इज Adding up all the integers in this diagonal, we get minus four minus two plus zero. Minus four plus minus two plus zero, which is equal to minus four minus two, which is equal to minus six. Hence, we see that. The sum of all the rows and sum of all the columns is equal to zero, but sum of one diagonal is not equal to zero. Hence, square one is not a magic square. Now proceeding on to the second square. Similarly, naming the columns and rows C1, C2, C3, R1, R2, and R3. Sum of R1. Is equal to one minus ten plus zero, which is equal to one minus ten is equal to minus nine. Similarly, sum of R two is equal to minus four minus three minus two, which is equal to minus nine. Sum of R three is equal to Minus six plus four minus seven, which is equal to minus two minus seven, which is equal to minus nine. Then sum of C one is equal to one minus four minus six, which is equal to one minus ten, which is equal to minus nine. Sum of column two is equal to Minus ten minus three plus four, which is equal to minus ten plus one, which is equal to minus nine. Sum of column three is equal to zero minus two minus seven, which is equal to minus nine. Now sum of first diagonal is equal to One minus three minus seven, which is equal to one minus ten, which is equal to minus nine. And the sum of other diagonal is equal to zero plus minus three plus minus six. Which is equal to minus three minus six, which is equal to minus nine. Hence, we can say that each row and each column and diagonal have the same sum, that is minus nine. Therefore, the required answer is square two is a magic square. I hope you understood this question bye and have a nice day